Thursday's game was um, difficult for us. I think we expected ourselves to play a little bit better. Um, we definitely did not have our best game, but that's also a lot of what Ashland does to you. They make you play out of sorts and at a pace that you're not comfortable with. Um, I do, you know, I, I wish we could have hit a couple shots early. I wish we could have um, got somebody going uh, a little bit earlier than we did and not, not have that tough deficit that we started with. Um, however, we did, and now we just have to adjust and continue to get better and, um, and progress every day and hope that we have an opportunity to meet them again. Um, our response, I think, was the best that you could have asked for as far as not feeling sorry for ourselves because I, I do think that this team had expectations that went unmet, and you can go two different directions. You can feel sorry for yourself, or you can respond in a way that is driving you to be a better player and for us to be a better team, and I feel like that's exactly what they did. Uh, they didn't take time to hang their heads or... Um, not prepare or execute the way that we are capable of. So proud of them for that. I thought our efficiency on Saturday was really good. I thought our defense was really good. Overall, um, I was really proud of our effort and our accomplishment on Saturday. Michelle had a great weekend and she's continued to progress and get better. Um, that's a, a spot that we really need to have success at. We run a lot of our, our program is based on our post and a lot of our offense is based on our post and our post being a threat, whether it be um, them scoring um, or opening up spots for our shooters. So with her in the game, um, I, I just thought even in general, even against Ashland, everything seemed a little bit easier, whether it was us breaking the press and not necessarily her scoring, but even her cutting to the right spots. She's a smart and savvy player, and I felt like every time we were, she was in there, we were better. And then to continue that play Saturday um, is going to give her confidence moving forward, and um, we, just, we really like the lift that we get when she comes in off the bench. We had a three-minute start that wasn't very good, and... Um, we were fortunate to be able to respond to that. I thought from after that first three minutes that we really buckled down, and I, I think they had nine points in the first three minutes, and um, from that point on, I think we held them to 11. So they were, as soon as that first time out hit, we, they were back focused and understood um, what we were capable of doing. And th they hit a couple tough shots too, uh, but I, I felt like our focus was there. Uh, we did what we were capable of, made everything really difficult, and I thought we rebound, rebounded the ball really well. You know, we had an opportunity to play in, in a tournament with Ferris at the beginning of the year, and they are really good and really improved. And they do things, um, they press the same way, actually, that Ashland did. Um, they're going to press, they're going to zone, and those are two things that have bothered us more than I think we anticipated this year. So um, the, in their length and to have a post player like Rachel McInerney, who's such a solid presence inside, and she's also the trapper in their press, which caused us a lot of problems on Thursday. So um, we've been working against that. I, they play they play hard, and their young kids are quick and fast, and we're going to have to be able to contain. But I really like their improvement, and I was able to talk to their coach a lot during that first tournament, and they've really come a long way um, and really play up to the level that – that they play against. So um, we're anticipating a, a really good and, and close game. They have a lot of really talented players. Um, Lake State is a team that is hard to play because they have really, really good spacing. And I think they have for a number of years. And, you know, we look, we look at their film a lot just because they are really good at breaking teams down because they use the entire court. So um, it's going to go back to and come down to fundamental defensive principles in against their offense and um, that's something that's a great challenge for us and to be able to step up and play well on their floors is, is something that we're looking forward to. Both teams are absolutely really good at home, um, huge crowds and um, you know obviously protecting their home floor. Defensively we're going to have to be great. Um, Ferris is top three in the league in scoring um, and that's going to be again with their press and, and our offense, making sure 
that our offense with turnovers does not dictate easy points for them. So taking care of the basketball and then um, playing great defensive position uh, throughout the weekend is going to be really important.